Your homepage is the most important page on your Shopify store, no question asked. It's the page that will get most of the visits and it's where most of new visitors will land. That's why I highly recommend you to put time and effort while designing this page. And today's video is exactly here to help you do that. You need to think about your store homepage as an entrance hall for a real store, a retail store. Newcomers and visitors will come to your store and they will start at this page. So this is where you should be answering all the questions they might have in mind. So they don't know you yet. They want to know what do you sell, if they are good, what products do you have, what are your best sellers, and so on. That's why in this page, you need to have special sections that do all of that, that reply to all of these questions. Well, if you are selling in a real retail shop, you would be personally meeting newcomers and you would be able to explain to them everything about your brand. But online, you don't have this luxury. That's why your homepage should be doing this. Whenever I'm designing a homepage, I always focus on replying on these three questions. First, what do I sell? Second, what does my brand stand for or what makes my brand unique? And third, why would people trust me? So what you should do is to keep these three questions in mind and to make sure that you are doing your best to reply to all of them within your homepage. And now let's start to talk about your homepage structure. The first section of your homepage is your navigation menu. I'm not going to talk about navigation menus in this video because there is a video on this YouTube channel about navigation menus, how to organize them and how to design them. So just watch it after this video and you will be good to go. But the navigation menu is common between all of your pages and it's a very important element in your whole store design. So make sure to watch this video and make sure to create an amazing navigation menu for your store. After the navigation menu, we have the main homepage section or the homepage banner, like I like to call it, or the hero image. This section is very important because it's the first section your customers will see and it's where you will tell the world about your brand and what do you sell. And here there is a very common mistake that I notice many people do. They put something very fancy or something, let's say, very creative in this section and they forget to tell the world what do they sell. So please, keep it simple. If you sell organic chocolate, tell the world that you sell organic chocolate. If you sell vegan shoes, tell the world that you sell vegan shoes. If you sell eco-friendly baby products, tell the world that in this section. Don't be fancy, use simple sentences that will tell your customers or your viewers directly what your brand stands for. Whenever you are deciding what to put in your homepage or in any part of your store, please keep in mind that people don't like to burn calories or to burn time. They want to understand quickly what you sell and you can do that unless you are being very simple and very straightforward. In this section, you should be telling the world about your brand unique selling proposition, about what do you sell, and you should have a button that leads people toward your products. You can either link it to your collections list or maybe to your best sellers collection. So this section will help you to reply to two of the questions your customers might have in mind. First, what do you sell? And second, what your brand stands for? In here, you can use either an image or a video. It's up to you. But I always recommend you to keep it simple, but definitely use a very professional photo that expresses your brand in the best way possible. Now directly after this section, I recommend you to add a section that empowers or enforces social proof. And here I'm talking about things like as seen in or featured in, or maybe some testimonials, or maybe some reviews. This is very important because trust is the most important factor that you should be working on in your homepage or on any of your other pages on your store. If people are not buying from you, it means they are not trusting either the product or the store. And this is why we need to make sure that we are doing our best to make our visitors trust us and trust the brand. After this section, I recommend you to add a section that shows your best sellers products. Well, your best sellers products are best sellers for a reason. People like them, they favorite them. And usually when you tell someone that this product is a best seller, you make it easier for them to choose it and pick it. Because if everyone is liking this product, I should be liking it as well. So always include a best seller collection section within your homepage. In addition to your best sellers collection, you should have a section in your homepage that shows all your collections. So it could be, for example, shop by collection or shop by sex if you sell something related to women and men and so on. 
you can alternate between these two sections have one at the beginning one at the end or at the middle of the page I don't mind but these two sections are very important because they reply to one of the questions your visitors might have in mind and it is what do you sell after the bestseller sections, you can have a section talking about your brand, your unique selling propositions, uh, your brand mission, and linking to your About Us page. This section is important because it helps you with your branding and it helps you to create a better connection with your audience and with people who are visiting your store. It tells them what your brand stands for, where they should be buying from you, what do you do, what's your mission, and so on. Also having a section showing testimonials, reviews, before and after results is very important because it enforces trust and social proof. If you are just starting out and you don't have enough reviews and testimonials, I highly recommend you to collect them because without them, it would be almost impossible to convince anyone to buy from you. Also, I recommend you to use sections like the uh, frequently asked questions sections, the unique selling proposition sections in order to enforce social proof and in order to express your brand in a better way. One additional section I always recommend my clients to add is the Instagram feeds. It's very important to show your visitors that you are actually active on social media because this also enforces trust and shows them that you are a real brand that's working and selling and that you have already customers who are buying from you and liking your products. The final section of your homepage would be the footer section and it's also a section that's common between all of your pages. In the footer section, you should be linking mainly to your policies like the privacy policy, the shipping, the returns, everything that your customers might want to know about. These links are not as important as the shopping links or the collection links, but still, you need to link to them below, especially if you are running ads on Facebook or in, in Google, they must be there. So now we are going to see a good example of a good homepage that you can get inspired from. Well, yeah, maybe not all the sections that we have talked about earlier will be included in this homepage, but still, it's a very good homepage and you can learn a lot from it. So moving to my screen, as you can see, this is their navigation menu. And in here they have the menu, so you can explore like the different uh, items they sell. Then we have the search bar if you want to search for something. Then we have the main image in here. And it's a very good image, a very good photo because it expresses exactly what the store sells. So as you can see, we can know exactly that they sell snack and we can know that they don't have sugar, they are gluten free and they don't have palm oil. So they have told us what makes their product unique just by looking at this section and reading everything. And they even use these small icons to make it easier for the visitors to know exactly what they are offering. Okay, and as you can see, we have a button that leads most probably either to a collection page or to a product page. When you scroll down, you can see that I have added the bestseller section. So that's what I have talked about before, especially with a brand like this one, they are selling chocolates. So it's hard for customers to guess which is the best flavor, for example, by introducing this section, by showing the uh, visitors what other people are already like buying, they make it easier for them to pick the right flavors, okay? When you scroll further down, you will see that they have a section here talking about what makes them special. So it's like the about us section I have told you about. It's also very good. The way they have formulated it is also good. And when you scroll down in here, you will see this is more social proof because they are uh, giving like uh, big names that they have mentioned the brand. So this is also nice. And I guess all of these are clickable. So I can go from here and go to the article or to the page where this brand was mentioned. And this is a very, very strong social proof. Until that, you have our categories. This is the collection list. It shows the visitors what the store sells. So they sell chocolate, protein bar, sweeteners, and ice cream. As I said, this is very good. If you scroll down in here, you have this section about uh, having their items shipped by Amazon. This is good for like, some people trust Amazon shipping more because it means that the items will arrive on time. It means that the packages will be safe and so on. And scrolling down, they have the newsletter section. Well, I didn't talk about adding a newsletter section inside of your homepage because usually I like to have a pop-up or a fly out uh, with a teaser that appears to visitors when they land on the store to give us their emails in return of their of a gift or a discount or something like that. So because of the pop-up, I usually don't think that it's super, super important to have a newsletter section in the homepage. 
especially that so many of the email marketing systems like Klaviyo for example are now offering the teaser option so if for example someone lands on the store they saw the pop-up they close it maybe intentionally maybe maybe by mistake a teaser will be there like a small icon on the right or the left or whatever you wish they can click on it and see the pop-up again that's why I don't think it's very important to have a newsletter section, but still, if you want to have it, it's totally fine. Just make sure that you have linked it to your uh, lists on your email marketing system and make sure that customers are also receiving your offer in return of their emails. Thank you so much for watching this video and for staying up until the end. I truly appreciate that. Before leaving, I want to invite you to sign up to the free workshop I'm currently offering. In this workshop, I show you how you can create a strong, sustainable e-commerce business, a business that's able to attract, convert, and retain customers. So if you are interested in creating such a business, go down to the description and sign up. It's a totally free workshop and you don't need to pay any dollar. Thank you again for watching this video and before leaving don't forget to smash the like button to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because in this way you will get notified each time I publish a new video. See you soon, bye bye.